Hey there and welcome to your 9th and 10th grade channel with us Baijus. I'm Aishwarya and I'm back with a very interesting question for all of you. What is this Bombay blood group? Now, I'm sure that a lot of you would have heard about this Bombay blood group, but a quite a few of you would be out there who must be wondering, right? Now, what is this Bombay blood group? How is this blood group different from the normal blood, blood groups that we have? Well, I'll be telling the answer to you in this particular video. And of course, before I get started, please make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button to our channel. Because Baiju's 9th and 10th grade channel is your premium destination where you will find everything, right from all your academic related classes. And of course, apart from that, we bring in all these interesting videos to feed your curiosity. So without wasting any more time, let's get started right into it. Now, we're talking about Bombay blood groups, but do we know about all the blood groups that are there? Well, of course, much, much earlier, we had done a video on this particular session on what are the different types of blood groups or what we call as the ABO blood groups. So if you haven't checked that video out, do check it out. The link is there in the description box and we will be pinning it in the comments as well. But to quickly recall, we know that there is the ABO blood grouping system, which was proposed by Carl Landsteiner, where there are four blood groups. You have blood group A, blood group B, AB and O. Now, this particular system came into the picture with respect to the presence of certain antigens. Now, what are antigens? They are nothing but substances which have the ability to trigger an immune response. So, we see that broadly we have antigen A and antigen B. Now, if antigen A is there, then it will be A blood group. If antigen B is there, then it will be B blood group. And if both antigen A and B are there, then it will be AB. And if neither of the antigens are present, then we see that it will be O blood group. But the real question is, where is this antigens coming from? Well, these antigens come from a precursor, right? So what do I mean by the term precursor? It means that this is what is there initially and this is what eventually becomes your antigen A or B, right? So we see that antigen H is your precursor to your ABO blood types, right? But we see that if this antigen H is present and this is something that we find in all the blood groups, whether it's you and me who have A, B or O, whatever, we see that this antigen H is present and is mandatory. But we see that there are some individuals who do not have this antigen H. So something which most people have out there, there are some H case people who do not have this. And such people without an antigen H is who we call as the Bombay blood group, right? So this is a very unique blood group that is there. Now, this was discovered by Dr. Y. M. Bhende, right? And he discovered it in Bombay, hence the name. And this is one among the rarest blood groups that are there. It is so rare that we see that 1 in 10,000 people, right? So let me just write that. 1 in 10,000 people have this particular blood group. And why is this blood group so rare? Because it lacks your H antigen. And it means that if H antigen is not there, we see that it will lack A and B. And we see that it will have anti-A antibodies in the plasma, it will have anti-B, and it will also have an anti-H antibody. Now, normally in your ABO, right, so whether it is A, B or O, we see that especially O does not have both your antigen. But the antibodies that you find here, so I'll use another color. So the antibodies that you see in O blood group is your anti-A and you will find anti-B. But you will not find this anti-H, right? Because we see that antigen H will be there, which is of course supposed to be universal everywhere, no? But because in Bombay blood group, there's no antigen H, we also find antibody H that will be there. And it's so rare that people who do blood transfusion, right? So say I'm an individual who has Bombay blood group, then only another individual with Bombay blood group will be able to donate to me, right? It's a very niche thing that we find here. So they can receive blood only from the same blood type, whereas other blood types that are there. So if you look at blood transfusion, we know that O is a universal donor, a, which will be able to give or donate blood, right? To A, B and O. So this is something which is very interesting. So can we say that Bombay blood group is the universal donor? 
not per se or you can let me know in the comment section below so do you really think that bombay blood group that is there right can be a universal donor this is something that i want you to tell me in the comment section below and if you found this video interesting as well and learning something new about the bombay blood group do let me know in the comment section as well now of course with this we come to the end of today's class where we learned about what is bombay blood group and how is it different from the abo blood group that is there now before i wind up here's a quick reminder to register for anthe which is the akash national talent hunt exam it is taking place in november and it's one of the most premium competitive exams that are out there and of course you know that there's a lot of things which are up for grabs but the most important thing is the exposure that you get for competitive exams and it will kick start your preparations for jee and of course neat now of course you can you stand a chance to win 100% scholarship all in your ranks cash rewards cherry on the top being the nasa trip yes so do not forget to register and of course hit that like button if you found this interesting because we've got you covered and we literally mean it right so please make sure you hit that like button share this video with your friends and stay subscribed to our channel hoping to see you very soon again bye bye and have a nice day